Yesterday, CNN once again became that nosy, detestable neighbor, Gladys from Bewitched, <laughs> who gins up phony concern only to spread malicious gossip about the First Lady's whereabouts. Check out this tweet from our nation's hall monitor, Brian Stelter. If any First Lady disappeared, you'd want to know where she is. <laughs> See what he did there? To justify the odious premise, he first had to create the premise. If any first lady disappeared, and so begins a Trojan horse for a ghoulish game, all to push a phony CNN segment. See, instead of saying, is Melania missing? They pitch their segment as how the media is covering Melania's absence. So they're covering how they're covering it. Mm. <laughs> I guess we should cover how they're covering how they're covering it. <laughs> One thing that the president and the White House have been quite quiet about uh, is Melania Trump and her status. We did see her tweet the other day, but the first time we've caught a glimpse of her, uh, the last time we caught a glimpse of her was on Mar May 10th. I wonder if somebody's guiding that kind, of, that kind of tweet from her. That doesn't seem like her, at least the image she's had in her engagement with the press. Well, if the first lady or, or the person who's standing in for a first lady disappears, you want to know where she right. is. Ah, oh, clowns. So crazy. They even had a chart. How sophisticated. <laughs> and so the speculation fueled endless guessing games on Twitter. The pleasure many found in hoping something was wrong with the First Lady and then cloaking it as some kind of concern dwarfs any of the jokes with the C word. CNN, HuffPo, Newsweek, Trump has deranged these ghouls to a point that they barely have any humanity left. Just when you think you hit the bottom of the cesspool, more cesspool. <laughs> Some even suggested that Trump beat Melania. Oh, God. Trapped in their own prison of pain since 2016, their misery only seeks company. I swear, Jeff Zucker must be spinning in his grave if he wasn't alive and well. Or is he? Has anyone seen him? See what I did there? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dana, this is what people do on Sundays. I mean, there were actually people sitting oh. around tweeting about if Trump beats, has Trump beat Melania? That is, is she... really gross. Yes. And these are the... Uh, Some remember, were conservative. Remember <laughs> when um, the media was really upset about any questions about Hillary Clinton's health during the yeah. campaign? And that that was out of bounds? Mm -hmm. But there was... Yes. Actually, she did faint. Yes, yeah. <laughs> right when she was trying to get into that van, and that was out of bounds. And she wanted to be the president of the United yes. States, the first lady does not have any, you know, she's not an elected person. She yeah. can do whatever she wants. Um, I hope that she's well. Um, and it would, be, it would be more believable if they really cared how she was. Yeah, yeah, I don't think they care. That's the thing that gets yeah. me, Jesse, is the camouflage. Right. We're just, you know, we're just worried about her. No, you're not. You don't even like her. <laughs> yeah. <You> know? <laughs> like last week, they were making all sorts of disgusting commentary, and now they're so concerned about <laughs> her health. The media is spending more time wondering where Melania is and not wondering where ISIS is. Mm -hmm. Don't you think they'd spill some ink over that? I mean, Trump made ISIS disappear. Melania hasn't gone anywhere. Let's focus on that. <laughs> Peter Strzok went missing. They haven't shoved the camera in Peter Strzok's face. It would seem like the media might want to get some answers about his whereabouts. She had kidney surgery three weeks ago. It's an incredibly invasive and delicate procedure. I'm sure she wants to come back on her own terms at her own time, and that's fine. But Trump's marriages have always been subject to tabloid father people. Father, they speculate. You know, it's good ink. People profit off of it. It's good for clicks. And she's not the most, you know, she doesn't speak a lot publicly. So there's a vacuum there, and she doesn't have a robust PR machine. So they fill the void with these speculations and the narratives that, that have no connection to reality and I think it just it shows the disrespect to the first family last time it was Ivanka then Melania this week you know they, they don't respect them like they used to anymore you, you know Juan is this just another example of having because there's just so much good news oh, you've got to run you got to go after the first lady because mm. she might be recuperating or maybe she just likes to do whatever the hell she wants right you know maybe I don't, she just doesn't want to be good I don't know I, I don't follow Twitter the way you do but I I don't know that there's any antipathy toward her I just haven't seen that I think there anybody people, made fun of her accent. Remember Chelsea? No, no, Handler? people have said that, but yeah. I, and I think people have questioned, uh, you know, her health. You know, be, it, they didn't know much about this, and now subsequently. But anybody who's sick, I mean, you have to have some sympathy for them. Mm -hmm. The big question here is, she's supposed to have an event today. I think it's for Gold Star Gold families, Star, yeah. and uh, and they close it to the press. Mm -hmm. So at some point, when you're in power and you start to keep the press out, the press is like, hey, 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 what's going on? And I think that's what you're getting. But you want to attack the press for this. I just think, you know what, if the White House was transparent and said, you know what, 
the, the, the lady is 48, she had surgery, and she wants to, to have a rest period. I think everybody in America would say, God bless her, hope she's recovering well, but not that's the, not. Not the people, you haven't looked at the tweets. I haven't, they, I haven't. Rep, they talked about her getting beaten up. I don't know, they're you crazy, said conservatives, yeah. why is anybody even saying that? Uh, there because evidence? they're awful people, and oh, I won't oh. even mention their names, because okay. they're, they're beneath, they will not be mentioned on the five, but you can look them up. Mm. Kimberly, yeah, I just think it's really disrespectful. Obviously, this was a serious, you know, medical condition. She had to get this a kidney embolization. So it was at Walter Reed. Perhaps she needs some time to be able to recover and get back on her feet. You know, she has a, st a very stressful job because she's not, you know, treated well in the press to begin with. So there's an emotional and psychological strain to begin with, and now a physical toll on her body. And she's, you know, a mother of a young son. And so she's going to spend time as well with him. She's quite worried about, you know, his mom. So what, what is the point here? They acted like she was like a missing person no, thing. She, like, it's this, just crazy. This White House is the most transparent thing in the history of history. I mean, we know everything. They're, well, you know, they, make it, they make fun of it for being like a reality show. But yeah. then when they, when they think that, like, this is part of the act, right? Yeah, that, yeah. like, oh, they're hiding Melania from you, so you can't <laughs> see her. So now that has to become part of the storyline or something. Mm. And feign that they're concerned. Yeah. Well, they're not actually concerned at all. If they cared, they would respect privacy and let her get better instead of making a mockery of it like she's a missing persons alert on a milk carton. Mm -hmm.